know where to save it. Hi, Chris. Hey. How do you feel? Rested? No. <laughs> what did you do on your week off? Did you go on vacation? Yeah. <laughs> In the next room. <laughs> I opened that door and then walked out it. Oh, hey. it's a fun time to be alive in Victoria, but it's going to be fun as soon. It's going to be fun as soon. Um, I'm Cassie. You are listening to Doug by Us. Thank you for letting us have a break. I mean, you didn't. We let ourselves have a break and it was needed. Last week, I was spent. Yeah. Oh, cooked, fried. <laughs> Napville was population one, me. Got to laugh it off though now. Just, just roll with it. You've got to roll with it. You've got to take your time. You've got to shake it off. Thanks, Tay Tay. Hey, a couple of weeks what? ago. Liam and Noel don't get any credit for that. Just Taylor. What is this? That's because our listeners know every single Oasis lyric that ever, ever existed, but might not have known that that was a Taylor Swift reference. So I just had to clear things up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know our demo at all. Hey, <laughs> our demo. Oh, I'm such a wanker these days. Yeah, get out of it, mate. <sighs> what even is this? We've had a minute of nothing. Let's get in digging some songs. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. We've had a minute of nothing. Have you ever <laughs> listened to this show before? It's <laughs> 20 minutes of nothing, and that's what people come here for. That's why people love it. Hey, last week... We didn't do a show, but the week before that, you brought in a song from a band that was is still Ghost. The song was Hunter's Moon, and uh, it's sick. I love it. I You did talk about the, the metal community. I laughed when I said that because it's a bit of a joke. Just kind of don't think they're heavy enough or some shit they're offended. I don't know. It's sick. It's just like I was listening to it. I actually put it on YouTube and watched it on the telly because uh, I'm that level locked down. And with my partner, Gordon, he loves Ghost and he, I think he's like a legit music fan. And we both just said like people need to get over themselves. They're just so good. And it's just, it's got that classic sound. It doesn't sound too modern and which I, anyway, now I'm starting to sound like a wanker. It's great. I love it. You had me rocking in my couch and my PJs, so thanks. Yeah, but it's like a pop song that has a, that theme of horror, but it's not. I'm not just screaming for the sake of it. Like it's just, and it's the way it's. You get the verse is so short, and you're in the chorus already, and they know how to write songs properly, and it makes me scared and good. And I'm not going to watch the movie. I don't need the horror movie. I don't need to see Halloween Kills. Uh, but the song is nice and scary. It's good. So I think I might. I'm actually terrified of anything that's like visually scary. I don't like scary movies. But I might just step out of my comfort zone and shock myself and give it a whirl this week for Halloween. So watch this space because I might just do it. And then for the next three months, I'm going to leave every light in the house on because I'll be terrified. <laughs> Rightio. <laughs> See, I have similar terror um, for the image of the song that you brought in two weeks ago, which is Fred Durst dressing up like a... Like a what? Like, like Johnny Knoxville in Jackass when he's pretending to be the grandpa. <laughs> that is so correct. <gasps> oh, but it's this... Like, it's, it's every kind of sweaty, adolescent, stupid part of the early 2000s joined up in a song about dads, which I now am. And it's it's a circle of weirdness, and you made you making me talk about Fred Durst again. How hey, dare you? It's not the circle of weirdness; it's the circle of new metal life, which is your and my existence. Now, I also need a shout out, and we shared it on Instagram. Chris's tweet made it; it was actually published in a story by Maniacs about this single. Like, I go on about Chris being a dad often in this i kind of call him out on that i don't know why but Ooh, yeah, you... like it's bad behavior. no it's not bad behavior your son is adorable <laughs> i'm sure you're a great father to him but it's just a f like i love that that just for me is my everything i can die happy knowing that you have been quoted by a legitimate music website about being a dad 
it's just it's brilliant but this song is it's catchy as hell dad vibes is just still it's a fun time it's a guilty pleasure don't at me about fred's look and me thinking it's sexy and don't at me about the checkerboard shoes because you know that i'm gonna be buried in those things it's just good fun don't think about it too much just enjoy it just la da la da oh gosh i love it um hey chris what are you digging this week uh this is a song that we needed last week and you know if i was a real friend i would have direct messaged it to you <laughs> instead you just sent I'm me really... memes <laughs> Just wait, just wait a week before I give you a song that's kind of slightly gospel-y and slightly feel-good uh, to lift your spirits when you're feeling uh, that you need to be lifted out of something. Uh, I accidentally found this song looking at, I was looking at She Had's Instagram stories. Number one fan I, right here, She Had number one fan. And I, uh, I realised I was better off watching it in the account they were tweeting and that was warner music australia new zealand's mister so i went there watched the she had stuff and then the next one automatically started before i had the chance to scroll out and mm -hmm. i heard i heard two seconds of audio from someone singing but i then i'd scrolled off and lost it so I'm like just went what was that that voice was awesome went back into yeah warner music story and discovered this uh this that's another kiwi artist her name is holly smith and this beautiful song called something good which uh it's just got that it it lifted my spirits last week when there were clouds so you might like it look the clouds are still here but there's definitely some sun peeking through so um i think though it's always good to have those songs in your back pocket for the days that the clouds get heavy again so thanks i think i'm gonna dig it i appreciate you sending it to me last week when i needed it you uh jerk <laughs> yeah. but i've also no no i'm kidding i'm glad you were definitely were there for me in the um the way of sending hilarious memes and funny chats uh but i'm oh, glad that I, you I was trying to figure out what i sent you and i realized i sent you the video of the dude from smash mouth losing his nut oh. what else did i send you i can't remember it doesn't matter it's pretty much <laughs> just that 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 sums up our friendship is steve from smash mouth losing his shit on stage um the world was gonna roll in oh that's funny but like sad i like there's serious issues there anyway <laughs> Cut that bit. okay okay um i'm excited to hear that and i love that when you hear just like the first little bit of a song and it grabs you so much that's kind of like just reminds me of being young and listening to the radio or being at a record store and, and hearing something that you just go i need to know what this is but I've, and I've never heard it before. Like, I love that. I love nothing more than that discovery. So I love that you got to experience that last week. Cause it just doesn't happen as much these days when we work in music and we're just consuming it so much. And we're kind of like experts at it, you know, you didn't sound like a wanker before you do now. No, jokes aside. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes it's, I, I concur. I understand. <laughs> Great. Um, hey, before we jump into my song, should we just point out the fact that some absolute dead set legend who follows us on Instagram guessed last last week's album, like from that weird, distant, pixelated image that I shared on on social. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine because a lot of the time I don't make sense. Uh, but we've started playing a game that is just super fun. Chris has a CD on his dresser. Every week he changes it and it's from his collection. I think that they're almost called antiques these days. They're definitely vintage. And the one from the last episode, I posted it on our Instagram and like straight away, like straight away, uh, one of our followers, followers got it. So our, the prize is not much actually you win is the prize saying their name in the podcast the prize the prize is well it's just i'm building the suspense chris <laughs> come on give me a break the, so the prize is getting a shout out on the show so congratulations to you gavin bryce who hey. guessed it straight up he then sent me a copy of his own version of that and said it's absolutely this so well done now, for those of you who don't know, it is Prince's 1999, of which Chris has this weird sticker classic. on it. 
that I think he's purchased it secondhand from the looks of it. But that means it's from a um, a radio station city library. <gasps> you are such a wanker. Um, no, this I'm is... a thief. That's what I am. No, okay, we're not going to make it a Wolf Mother podcast. So uh, thank you all for playing. There is another CD on the dresser. I think it is the gorillas from here. Wrong. It's colourful. There's like different colours. That's my guess. I only get one according to my rules that I just put in right now. Um, I'll share it on Instagram. If you want to have a play, it's really fun. I, It's pixelated. It's terrible quality. So good luck. That's what um, makes it fun. But I do understand why you said gorillas. It does it does feel like that um that debut album. Does it but feel good? Not, that. not at all. <laughs> well, that's the second album, but it's not that either. I'm being a brat. <laughs> no, no, just for something new. Uh... <laughs> all right. Do you know what I'm digging? Yeah. Yeah? It's good. It's good. It's good. So I, more than ever, just needed to dance in my kitchen and slip on the tiles with my socks on. You know the slippy socks? This week. Slidey socks. Slippy socks. Slipping makes it feel like you fall over. Sliding is like, yeah, you're Tom Cruise. But slipping gives it that risk factor and makes it feel a little bit more adventurous. Anyway, I needed to dance and slip in my kitchen and... I noticed that an artist that I am a fan of who is always bringing the dance, Baker Boy, has brought out his new album, Geller, which is his debut. So yeah, I chucked it on. About time, mate. Oh, so much fun. Like if you're in a slump, if you feel like your body's a bit stiff and you haven't moved for a while, I am no doctor, but I think that this will help you. It's just such a great, oh, it's a, it's just an adventure of fun. It could be a children's album as well because it's just got so many – elements of joy that kids will just sing along and dance along in the back of a car i don't have one maybe you can test it out on your kid and see how it works chris um but it's a fun album the track that i'm bringing in from that album that i'm digging this week is let me count one two three four five six seven it's a track called move now oh, that's not a new one but yes can you shush can you just stop stop killing my buzz but it samples something and I just, I can't, I can't, I can't get it. I can't get it. So it's got that, it's, it's got a, a very well-known sample that I don't know um, that makes it, you know, when it, there's a sample and so it feels familiar, you already know it. It just, yeah. it's the one that had me moving the most and I just needed it this weekend and this week more than ever. And I hope that that helps other people that are just needing a bit of a pick me up. Yeah, sick. He's like, what a legend. It's taken, we've waited a long time for this. This feels like Motor Race did at the time, where there's like, you've heard like half a dozen songs from this band, but where's the album? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's, it's feels, it feels like it's not his debut album because he's been around for so long and been releasing stuff and doing stuff for ages. But it's so nice to have an actual record. And look, it's just, it's, it's all really fun, but. I know the game. The aim of this game is to have one song. Uh, so, yeah, shove it up your butt. It's not brand spanking new, but it's fun, and that's all I care about. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, it's a banger. So get it on. You got no choice but to dig it. I'm talking to you. And so if seriously. you do know that sample, please let me know. DM us on Insta, or that's the only place you could DM us. I think. I mean, Twitter, but I don't know if Chris checks it. But I just like it's like. Oh, man, I'm, like, losing sleep over it. Uh, but, yeah, like Chris said, dig it, enjoy it. Can yes. You, can you speak more, Chris? I, I'm sick of my voice. Yeah, that's honestly edit out the bit where I – just edit out the bit where I said it's not new. Just cut that shit out. Okay. Um, and then you don't need to reference it later, which might have – Great. Love uh, it. might be too hard to cut out now because we've put it back in. But – um. Yeah. Do you just want to do an outro or a bye or a thanks or a... All right, Mad, we're back on the train. Toot, toot. <laughs> See, perfect. 